Please subscribe to Shotoku Tech so little Jimmy can have legs, won't you? Thank you very much. Microprocessors are almost ubiquitous from this flight controller on a drone to 3D printers and the 3D print servers as I've demonstrated. Also CNC machines, this laser engraver for example. Microprocessors are all over the place and they're anywhere where you don't need a full-blown computer. I've been working with Arduinos for a long time. This is the Mega. It's got a bunch of pins on it. This is the Uno. A few less input-output pins are available. This is the Pro Mini. Uh, a lot less, but it's a lot smaller. There's a lot of interesting add-ons. That's a display module with push buttons, and it sits right on top of the Arduino Mega or, or Uno. Here's a 10 degree of freedom. That's accelerometers, gyros, compass, and barometer. So you can kind of determine where you're at. I'd like to put that in a rocket someday. Oh yeah, that's hooked up to one of those Pro Minis. There's a motor controller. You don't want to drive big motors directly from the Arduino. It does, can't handle the current. Here's an ultrasonic proximity detector. Here was a project I made uh, back when I was brewing beer at home. You wanted to know the temperature of the beer casks to make sure that you weren't too hot or too cold. 3D printed case, got that Arduino with the display panel inside like the one I just demonstrated. And then we have these temperature probes. And if I hold them you can see the temperature go up. Also uh, made this robot a while back, Mini Kame. I did my own 3D custom printed part. When you get started with Arduino, you start at the Arduino website. You want to download the IDE, that's uh, the development environment where you write the code. Usually when you're learning a new programming language, the first program you write is Hello World. Basically, it prints Hello World on the screen. Well, as you can see, the Arduino doesn't have a screen. So, the equivalent of Hello World is Blink. And what you're basically going to do is make a light emitting diode blink. And that's the equivalent of Hello World. So the purpose of my video is we're going to do this in Arduino and I'm going to learn how to do it in Python on Raspberry Pi. Okay, so let's get the moving parts of Blink together here. We're going to go ahead and use the Mega. It's just bigger and easier for my big hands. I'm going to put this USB cable in it that's both to communicate with the Arduino and to power it in this case. Here's the light emitting diode. The long leg is the positive lead. The short leg is the negative lead. And we're going to plug it into this breadboard and we're going to put in a resistor in line. That's a 220 ohm resistor. I'm going to use these male to male jumpers because that's what's going to work in this case. So I'll make a note of where the long lead is. Now each row of the breadboard has a conductor running along it. So everything in that row is connected. So I've got that resistor hooked up to the positive side. Now I'm going to hook the positive wire to the other end of the resistor and the negative wire to the ground on the light emitting diode. And then we're going to use the ground pin on the Arduino Mega and pin 13. Pin 13 also corresponds to a light emitting diode that's actually on the board. So in the case of blink on Arduino, we're going to see two light emitting diodes blink. The one on the board and the one that's not on the board. The one that's on the breadboard here. Okay, looks like we're ready to go. I'm going to power up the Arduino so we can transfer the blink program over to it. And we're going to open the Arduino IDE. First you have to choose your board style. We're going to use the Arduino Mega. Then you have to figure out what port the Arduino is connected to. And as you can see, I just got a notice from Windows that my Arduino is hooked to COM3. So all I have to do, oh, it even has the name there in the call out, so that's handy. So now we're going to find the examples, basics, and Blink. Blink is already written for us here, so that's nice. A little less typing for me. It's a relatively simple program. 
The thing about Arduino language is everything that happens is contained within the loop. So you see that void loop? Click on the upload button and it compiles the program and sends it to the Arduino. This is simple code. Set up lead build in for output, write lead build in high, delay, write lead build in low, and delay. And we've just sent that over there and you can see Blink works. I'm pretty jazzed about that because I had to run around and gather up all of this stuff out of my hobby room. Several different drawers and toolboxes. So to see this work kind of is inspiring to me, even though I know it was a simple task. Python on Raspberry Pi is a little different story for me though. So I took a real deep dive on that to make sure I understood it clearly. I looked at several articles. They each had their own merits. Some of them were very simple didn't agree with the pin layout or I was looking for a better pin layout. Some of them had a lot of other good information. I especially appreciate the really, really good pin diagrams in this article. And if that's the second article on the list, I actually believe the code in this particular article is better than the code in any of the other articles. You'll see they actually do a cleanup and close out and everything. Oh, that's a beautiful pin diagram on the third article. All of these links are going to be in the description below for everything, literally. And uh, make sure to check that out. So, I know Python's already installed on Raspberry Pi. There's an IDE there. The code's real simple. I think uh, we're going to use pin 39 and 40. 39 is ground, 40 is the out. Make sure to check out my video about setting up Raspberry Pi Zero. We do get to reuse this circuit that we already assembled for the Arduino. We just need to trade out the jumpers with male to female jumpers because there's male pins on the Raspberry Pi Zero W. So let's hook the ground wire to pin 39 and the positive wire to pin 40. Here we go. Okay, so now we're going to launch Thani, the Python IDE that's inherent in the Raspbian install. There you go, there's Thani. We gotta do a bit of typing. Make sure to watch the promo video for this one. Got a cool music video based on me typing in the code. Again, it's very similar code to Arduino, it's just a different language. more furious typing. Now we're going to click on run. You have to do a save as. I'm going to put it out on the desktop and save it as blink. And as soon as you do that then it becomes an executable and off it goes. Haha, <laughs> the light is blinking. All right. Wow, don't blink twice. I just did it twice in the same video. That's amazing. Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and Python. I got blink going in two different platforms, two different programming languages. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And please comment, subscribe, like, share. Thank you very much.